frustrating as it straight up the head. Get straight up the head. Um, is and I've read this. I had to read this for a blog tour. And the plans will be going live on my blog on Tuesday. And the book I have read to review for that is Scorpio's Kiss by M. C. Damovic. And I enjoyed this book, but I give this a 4 out of 5, 3.5 stars. Um, I did enjoy it, but there was too many characters to get my head around who is who. And also, I couldn't connect to the characters and it was a bit slow, but obviously a full review of this will be written on my post. It's all over to be up when part one, maybe, of this, if I decide to split this wrap up into two. But it, it will already be up by the time this video goes up. So that is what I have just finished. And I'm just going to show you quickly the book I am currently reading, which is also on my Kindle. So go to my whole reasons page. Um, I can't them. Sorry, it's hard to do. I'm going to hold on my phone. And the book of my Kindle that I am reading. Um, this is the review book that I am reading from. And I received this in NetGalley. Um, on that is Addicted to Love by Kathleen Murray. I am only 5% into this. And it's okay. But it is a bit. So I don't know. It's okay, but I will also have a review of this up on my channel. Up on my blog. Or my channel, I haven't decided. Oh, I can't put a review. I'm gonna have to film on my phone, and I can't. Put, I haven't got the phone tripod. So. Yes, yeah, so unless I film on my iPad and my tab Kindle, but I'll need the Kindle to cover. Um, well, no, I can't get my hand to stand up. But if I could probably lean my phone against something I could film. Um, this my hair is pretty much two colours still. Um, Oh, and I may as well show you my Instagram theme for this month is actually going to be on my grey blanket. Um, if you follow my Instagram, and I'll have the updates of what I have read, so it will be in this vlog wrap, vlog wrap up. And also, I want to show you my actual two read shelves, which is just a few books that I want to read. So I will just switch this over now, and I will just show you. Um, no, what's in this video actually? But I will. I'm here to say about doing a bookshelf tour. Well, that is my. Well, I don't have a bookshelf yet. My books are in my bed. Uh, so yes, we will see. So bye, guys, and see you in my next video. Hey guys, it is July the sixth. And I have finished another novel, and this is in the glass novel that I was currently reading, and I have finished, if you can see, um, Edit to Love by Kathleen Murray, and I give this book a 4, 3 out of 5, I loved it, but I didn't enjoy it, it was just so hard to start off with. And stuff, and a full review of that will come on my vlog. Vlog post, and um, that is that will probably be live maybe before this video is up, maybe when this video is up. We will see, but that will be linked in the doobly bar down below. Or I might have a video, video review, and on this video review, it will be linked. In a card on the on the screen.
and I'll just show you the two books I'm currently reading and this one I'm 126 pages into and that is Onyx by Jennifer L. Arendtrout this is the second book in the Obsidian series um, no series, sorry, don't know why I've heard it in Obsidian I have a review of looks um, at Obsidian on my channel so that will be linked down below and in the doobly bar up the top on the screen um, I'm enjoying this book so far um, this is just as good as the first one and maybe even better and it doesn't suffer from second book syndrome which is good and the other book I'm currently reading is if I can show you because I can't download it's an arc and the arc doesn't have a cover so if I can't show you the cover so if I, I will just see if I can get it but I am reading Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put, include the picture here. I'm reading and I, I'm I, and I Darken by Christine White. And this book is by, and I am loving that as well. I'm reading two current like good books, and I'll have with three both of these. So my next clip should be that these are finished. One is historical fiction about Bradley and Baylor, and one is sci fi. So I can read two in different genres. So, yes, and reviews of them will be linked in the doodle down bar if I have not, if I have put, filmed them before this channel goes, this video go, part goes live. So, yes, I'll see you in my next part. So, bye guys. Hey guys, I'm just looking to update you, and I have recently finished another book, and I said now we couldn't have one for this, but I have not finished it. And that is obviously Onyx by Jennifer L. Arendtrout. <coughs> I'm going to this book a 5 out of 5 stars. And I'm loving this series so far. The books are just getting better and better. And Dermon, oh my god. I love him. Um, so yes. Bye. Hey guys, I have finished the book I'm currently reading. Um, uh, one of the books I was currently reading in the last segment of this week, the last clip of this video, and the book I have for now finished is the fourth book in the Look series, which is Origin by Jennifer L. Ermentrout. And I give this book a 5 out of 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was as good, but it lacked, I don't know, but I've been a 5, 5, 4.5 out of 5. It was, I enjoyed it, I loved it. It lacked something, so I might give it 4.75 out of 5. But yes, this is one. Then the next, oh, and I'm just going to actually include in this segment because there's not a lot of what I've not actually got. A lot of Larry books, I've got 6. I know, 5. So I don't want to film an actual review. I'm just going to clip it in here. I've been to the library today to take Larry books back. And I picked them up. So the first book I picked up is Lee Illuminaries by Eleanor Caton. And this one, the Ma the Man Booker Prize in 2013. But look at the from that book. And this book is going to be the next book. Oh, the next book that I start. I want, as soon as this is summer, I actually want to get into the thicker books, longer books. I have on my shelf to be read shelf under the dorm and Game of Thrones series to read and I want to make a good chunk on the Game of Thrones series before I go on holiday next month. But yes, I want this read before I go on holiday. If I haven't fully read finished it, it will be fine. I can reserve it, but I have got this out of the lab for three, for three weeks and I go on holiday in five weeks. So. Yes, we'll see. Then the other book I got from the letter, and this is, hold on, about the New Zealand goldfields. Uh, yeah, I think. I have heard good things about this. 
and I've read, heard something on a YouTube channel and I've forgotten whose channel it was who re reviewed it hmm. but I have seen it, I'll try and find the review then I got this is going to be a really re 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 read for me and um, that is Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Um yes. This is about the Taylor Edwards family and do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. And they go back to the summer at the old lake house because there's something up with her dad. And I don't wanna tell you any more about that. I've already read it, I'm rereading it. And I picked up because I wanted to read this series before another night where this author comes out and obviously there is the uh, Illumine that is I want to read it as well before that comes out but I don't think my library has it I am going to check but the first book I forgot is, Jay Christop, is by Jane Christoph and this is Storm Dancer and this is book one in the what's it called The Lotus War trilogy so this is book one and book one is very short unless it is just the version I, the copy higher I have or maybe it's not it is 449 pages but yeah this is Japanese Japanese yeah Japanese vibes and I've not read a lot in this setting I do actually have a review book which is Japanese to read as a you know, Japanese setting. Then the second book, this is a bit longer, so this probably might take a few while to get through. And obviously I don't want to read the back, but this is Kingslayer. Very great stuff. Oh, it's the same girl on the cover. And I love the covers, how it's the same cover, like around the same cover idea, but they've just changed the colours. And the way the girls are. And then the third one, oh, and the last book I picked up from the library is Enslinger by Enslinger, Slinger, Slinger. Um, and this is by, obviously by Joe Christoph. And this is even longer. This one is let's see, 675 pages. And I may as well just show you in a second. I do, I have bought three books, so I may as well get them off my shelf. Let's take my shelf to show you. And I also have read three books. I could have done a like, video haul because I could have put these in. And the first book, I have a review of the first book in this series, Me Before You by George R. Moyes, so I have got the sequel After You by George R. Moyes and I can't wait to read this book and then I have I loved The Devil Wears Parada and Revenge Wears Parada so I picked up her new one which is The Singles Game and this is by Lauren Weisberger and I think I might take this on holiday to read these two might come with me on holiday as well as my Kindle. I haven't decided. There is a cover and it is a blue cover. I think I saw it in a different cover in Sainsbury's but I got some Tesco and I thought I would get the neon pink. Hey guys, today I'm here to do my update and another update and I have finished another review book. And the review book I have actually finished is Soul Shifter oh, and I'm sorry about my lighting it doesn't help how my lighting is next week so I'm gonna you can see a little bit so just bear with me a second and the book is Soul Shifter let me put it on let me see if I put it on normal let's see what it is Soul Shifter. Hold on. this goes. Maybe if I turn. 
than the brightness. So I just think it's like a real bit better. And that is Soil Shifter by Dara Peritron. Um, I did say early on in this video that I was currently reading and early on in the day of the updates. Because today I have finished three books. And I may as well show you the book I'm currently reading, which is in the library segment of this video. Which you'll have already seen me haul is The Illuminaries by Eleanor Catton and I'm going to read some more of this after I've watched TV um, that is, I'm on 116 pages so I'm actually only 13% of the way through this hunker of a book and I don't know what I think of it oh and with the last I'm with I don't know what I think of it, I'm enjoying it um, yes, I am enjoying it, but it's not really my type of book. The only reason I'm actually picking it up is because I have heard some good things about this book, and I wanted to check it out. Um, so yes, that goes and see you in my next video. And my next update, which I don't know what it will be of, but we will see. So, bye guys! Hey guys, today I'm uh, it is July the 7th and I have finished a review book. And the review book I have finished is Don't Touch by Amy L. Salter. And I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. And a full review will come on my blog. And this video will probably be up because I pre wrap my blog, my reviews. So this video will probably be up before my blog post. But yes, and the book I am currently reading. I'm made to finish by tomorrow for my blog for the blog tour is Oh in lines the copy the copy. Is Sunborn Rising Beneath the Fault by Aaron Safranoff? And I am enjoying this book. I have received it for a review in an expert for Lola's Blog Tours. So, yes, we have for the B, and I really do love the cover. And I have re set up my blog post with the expert and the of the expert and there is a meet the characters section and illustrations in this book are lovely and I will just show you one if I can find one um, like here yeah, I have found one straight away This is an illustration of one of the characters and I just love the artwork that is used within this novel and I love the fact that it has full colour illustrations within. So yes, that is, my re that is what I am currently reading and just finished. Um, so yes, bye guys, and I'll update you later. Hey guys, hey guys, I'm here to update you again. It is July the 9th, and I have finished a book, and I have one of my cats here with me today. It's a film this little segment, and the book I finished is, sit there, easy, silly, is 
Sunburn Rising and that oh no, I've done this way. Sunburn Rising and that Beneath the Flow by Aaron Safranoff. I rated this book a four out of five stars. Um I have a review of this on my blog, so I will link that down below when I put this video up. So yes, bye guys. Hey guys, I'm here and as I have finished a book. And the book that I have finished is if you can see that. Voyage of oh hold on. It's gone off the screen. Voyage of the Defiance by S. E. Smith. And I give this I read that for review of Nat Gower and I give it oh, oh four oh five. And the next book I get the reading on my Kindle, if I get through the cover is hold on. My Kindle is being slow. Is what are you doing? Okay, and I'm looking through the reading is The Alpha Drive, and that is by Kirsten Martin. She has a YouTube channel, and I will link that channel down below. And this is I have got the cover up. I'm not in the cover of the Alpha Drive, and I just love that cover. And I hope the sequel of the cover is is good. I received that off Net Gala, and I'm only I'm only eighteen percent into that. So I guess I'll update you later.